Good morning. So, um, in the last video, um, I got uh, the Snippet Pixie flat pack um, building, um, but there's been a development since then, um, and it seems that a very nice person called Gustavo um, raised a uh, issue on the GNOME um, flat pack uh, SDK um, and platform to say that the uh, the libraries that I was using, uh, their development um, libraries are missing from their SDK. Um, and this GNOME um, SDK is the basis for the elementary SDK. Um, and since then, uh, it's been merged um, into, I believe that's into GNOME 40's flat pack um, base, um, but also backported to the GNOME uh, 38, which is the base for um, elementary. So um, thanks to uh, Gustavo, um, in theory, I don't need to do the workarounds that I had to do before. Um, so let's see. Let's go find out. Um, so I've got, I've done, I've got my uh, elementary six VM uh, up and running, and I've done an update. So it's picked up, and it picked up a whole bunch of um, libraries and um, applications, but also the uh, the flat pack um, base for elementary um, and the SDK. So let's uh, log in and see if we can get rid of the workaround I had to do to get IBUS libraries. Uh, working for my snippet pixie. So let's get terminal up and running. Okay, so I think we should be fine here. Yeah, there shouldn't be anything on here. Okay, it's nice and clean, that's good. So at the moment, um, let's turn our spell in. We have um, all this at the moment. Uh, we have to basically steal the uh, IBUS VAPI files. Um, for my bus um, by basically generating them and then uh, installing them um, before we can actually then build snippet pixie itself which depends on them so that looks like let's do that at the moment so i should be able to just do this in theory your script that just done it does it so this is the ibus stuff it's done it and now it's doing snippet pixie and now it's installing snippet pixie and exporting the flat pack so it's quite a bit of stuff there and if i look if i go, if I go backwards on there you can see this is the. This is when we start Snippet Pixie, but then previously we had to do all this iBus stuff. All that stuff, which is still a lot quicker than it used to be, since I fixed up the uh, the build. Um, but in theory, we can get rid of all of this stuff here. Oops. Um, oh, there's a typo there. 
location. And I don't do that anymore. I didn't. Yeah, I, even that comment is wrong. I get rid of that because I found that even when I did when I did the install into the proper place of the Vapi files, I didn't need to override and tell Snippet Pixie where they are because it was in the standard place and it picked them up. So that's good. I don't even need that. So we've really reduced this uh, flat pack manif manifest down. So I'll write that out and I'll do a little clean up. Let's make sure. So get rid of the build directory and there should be a flat pack here. Yeah. Flat pack builder. So it's going to be super clean. We know there's nothing there. And this is the script. Let's have a quick look. Yeah, flat pack build, build, uh, user install, false clean. Yeah, okay. So it's super simple. It just like basically builds it and then installs it as a user into my profile. Okay, so let's, fingers crossed. It didn't complain. That looks successful to me. Excellent. That's how quick look. So yeah. It's just the snippet pixie stuff. Does not need to do any extra iBus stuff. Did not complain about it. No errors, nothing, no warnings. It's looking good. Okay. Um, let's just see. So I shouldn't have anything running. Let's check. Yep, there's no snippet pixie running yet. So, let's see, does it work? It does. It's up and it's picked up the data from before. And I think I've still got my little override on the keyboard to double check that. I haven't taken that out yet, have I? No. So I did that, the little override. Whether I need to do that? Flat pack one or not, I don't know. We'll find out later. But so in theory, I can just do control grave. There we go. Uh, so what can I see if it works in? Um, let's try any new tasks. So let's say um, release. Can I do snippet pixie to pack? mistyped elementary there. It's a low. This is lowercase e. Okay. Add task. Smart. Cool. Well, that's great. That's good. Um, let's commit that off then. Thank you very much, Gustavo. Uh, 
power of open source. Someone raises something, someone fixes something. All in the clear. Right. Move. And push. Sorted. Okay. What's the next step then? So, that's really good actually. That makes uh, everything a lot smoother. But now we've got to start actually making the flat pack work a little bit better. So, now that I've run Snippet Pixie, um, well, that's, well, there's a couple of problems that I need to tackle, and there's a couple that I need to tackle first, and then the actual stuff that the iBus stuff uh, was needed for, I need to really look into. I'm not sure on that one. But there's two things that I need to have um, to have it like working with the search and paste window which is the most compatible way of using it at the moment. Um, and then I need to look at the actual, like you type and you, your um, snippet just expands in in a control um, and make sure that works because that's not working either at the moment. Um, so two things are definitely not working at the moment. Um, the shortcut saving um, which is really important. You need to be able to change your shortcut uh, without telling people to go and create a, um, a custom shortcut like I had to do. Um, and the other one is to make sure that um, it can start up automatically when you log in um, because you don't want to have to go and run Snippet Pixie before you can start expanding stuff. Once it's been run once and you've started putting in your snippets, um, it should then just run any time you log in, in the background, um, unless you turn it off. So, what should we tackle first? Uh, well, so at the moment, I presume Snippet Pixie is running, even though I've closed the window. It is. Okay. And if I, so can I just do com dot, oh, I can't, okay. So this is a local install, this is to my user account. I wonder if that makes a difference. It would be nice to keep that as the default way of doing it though. So, cause it's really, you know, Snippet Pixie is per user. Um, you don't want to have to install it system wide. It would be nice if it was on a per user basis as well. Um, so let's try something. Um, can I do run com dot yeah status yeah doesn't show anything. Why it worked. It didn't crash, did it? No. Okay, in that case, does if I quit it, what happens? It works, so let's check. No. Oh, it's not quit. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Don't even know my own app. 
stop. Okay. Gave me a success. See, that really shouldn't have given me a success on that first quit. Why is it always saying successful run? That's not right. It's not like connected through. Okay. Uh, okay, let's check. Has it gone? It has. Good. Okay, so it does work. I'm just not getting any feedback because normally when you do a status, it will say running or not running. And when you do uh, start or stop, it'll be, it tells you starting, stopping, that kind of stuff. That's a bit of a shame. Presumably that's a flat pack thing. I wonder if it's a, either a permissions or maybe it just by default sticks it in a, in a log somewhere else. That'd be a bit weird. Anyway, right, so what we're going to do first is try and get the shortcut working, I think. So, let's take out the shortcut I've got now, so we know what's what. So this needs to go. That didn't work. Hey up. Have I just found a bug? Interesting. It's already there. So I'm changing the same one and it's giving me that error. Okay. All right, screenshot time. Dink. That's a bug. And I can't delete. So that's a bug. which kind of means I can't. <laughs> well, I guess I can just change that, but can't test what I was going to do in theory. Well, I guess I'd give it another um, it's a very weird shortcut. Okay. I know it'll, it'll pick up on that. I wonder if I can just clean out. <laughs> no. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> oh, I didn't like that. All right, there's problems there. Can I, right, I did copy that, that's good. Right, okay. There be issues. I need to raise a few um, bug reports on that, I think, or check if there are any and sign on to them. I'll do that in a minute. Okay. My boss demon is not running. I'll check up on that later. 
Okay, right. Let's see if I can work out how to do... Have I got time? Yeah, I've got time. To have a little play anyway. So what I need to do is find out um, what permissions I need. So, have I got any? Nope. Sandbox permissions. Let's do this on the um, first one here. Have a little play. Right, so. What have I got so far? I really need to set up a shortcut for turn and off spell out, which I can. So we have IPC, which we need for X11, which is a fallback for when Wayland isn't available. And system bus is something I put on, but I'm not sure that I need to. In fact, I definitely want to do a session bus anyway. We'll do that and we'll see how that goes. That might be useful for um, the key monitoring. Okay, so what have we got? These are standard permissions. So file system. Definitely going to need that because I want to do import and export. Uh, but do I need to do host if I'm saving things? Well, the auto start should actually be local to the user, so maybe home is all I need. Why do I do? No, I don't want to do that. Okay, let's add that. Let's have a look at the reference there in a sec. So we got not to be used to map paths from users. Hmm. 
Nope. Yeah, I don't need that. I don't need system wide host either. Don't need any device, do I? Don't think I need D conf. Okay. Quickly check this. So don't need sound, don't need network. Don't need any secrets, whatever that is. Hmm. Oh, okay. That might be how I get the keyboard monitoring working by specifically talking to the, um, what's it called? ATSP or SPATI or whatever it's called. Accessibility stuff. I'll have to check on that later, but we'll come back to that. Well, I'm going to stick with home for the moment and then see if that actually helps with both the um, auto setup and shortcuts as well as doing import export. Okay, all right, well, let's try this. Just do another rebuild. Check out, didn't have it running, did I? Hmm, it's taking a bit longer this time because it's obviously recognised things are different. Oh, it no likey. Did it die? Yep. Okay. Let's try that in a terminal then. Hmm. So by giving it that permissions, it's now dying. Custom shortcut settings. Mm. 
media keys is not installed on your system. Hmm. So if, if I take that out again, rebuild, run again. Now, no, it's really not working. Okay. Let's try and yeah, it's gone. Here's a thing. Maybe it's not cleaning properly. Maybe that flat pack stuff. Let's try that. Why is it all of a sudden not working? Oh, session bus. Did I fluke it last time by having system bus in? Right, right, clean out. All right, so that's back to how it was. Do a build. System bus. Okay. So I need system bus apparently. <laughs> that must be the iBus stuff. Must be related to that. Okay. Killed it off. Okay. So in that case, can I put this back in then? Oh, and before I do that. Can I do an export? Does that already work? Okay, hold on. Downloads. Dot JSON. Mm. 
Where are they? They were. Okay. So I don't need it for the import and export then. He says. Import snippets. Update existing, yes. Okay. Uh, let's test that. That has been replaced. Okay. Let's see if this does import. Yes, update existing. And it has. Okay. Right. Okay. So I do not need. I'm using the portal, so I'm okay. That's good for that. So now it's just the auto start and shortcut keys that I need to sort out because this ain't working. So if I do control ding, that's in theory set it. But if I close that window and hit control, it doesn't work. So that shortcut is not working. And it's not set it there or there. Okay. Well, let's give it a quick, um, you know, if I bring it up again, I bet it's not set it. Yeah, it's gone. Okay. Okay. Let's see if the stop command works. Stop snippet bits key. It's gone. Good. Good stuff. Okay. Well, I'm going to give that a quick, oops, quick build with, um, the home stuff just to see if that makes a difference for the settings or not. I have a feeling it doesn't. I might have to start looking into portals for that. Okay. Up and running. Let's try the shortcut. Have a look, see if it's even there. Nope. Definitely doesn't work. No, okay. Close window, open window. Gone. Okay. Um, let's 
stop it. It's gone. All right, now let's run it here. See what messages we get. It's not. Yeah. Okay, so it's obviously I need to sort this stuff out here. Custom shortcut settings list custom shortcuts. Available, failed, available, failed. Hmm. Into that in a sec. Uh, so what happens when I try and do this then? Do I get any error messages? No. I'm not running with debug. Run it with deep and go and see lots of stuff. Wow, okay. Yep, wrong thing. This is interesting stuff here. ATSPI stuff. That's good. Good to see that. Assuming it's doing the right thing. Because that's what I need for monitoring keys jokes. But we'll come back to that again, as I said. Right. God knows what all this is. Okay. Why has it got that there? Must be my stuff. I still have that in the environment. Okay, all right. Okay, so it's the same stuff there. Let's reduce the size of that. I don't need that so big. All right, so do we get any messages when we do the shortcut? No, so that's probably not good. It's not even 
trying, I guess. I presume... Presume those problems there are stopping it. It's probably not connecting and therefore not triggering. All right, well, that's definitely something to look at on the next time, because we're running out of time today. I'll have to look in to see uh, the code for that and see whether I'm using the right stuff anymore, because that could have moved on. I've definitely seen some talk about settings being different and some deprecations. So, yeah. Anyway, right, there go. Um, so, until next time, take care.